Hey y'all, got my headphones. Good morning. Welcome to Real Brave Alicia Behind the Scenes. That's what you get behind the scenes, y'all. Me rushing to put my headphones on because uh, I don't forget. Already, like yeah, let's do it. We're starting a little early. all of it today. <laughs> Liberation. Good morning, good Sunday morning to you. You are tuned in to Real Praise with Leisha. That's me, and we are getting real this morning. Restored, elevated, affirmed, and liberated as we get ready to receive everything God has in store for us today. So I've got just one question for you. Are you ready to be real? Oh, I hope you are. We've got great music great inspiration, the church check-in, and so, so, so much more. It's the last Sunday of November. We just celebrated Thanksgiving. Hopefully you had an amazing Thanksgiving and just have been thankful, as we should be every day. Amen. As a matter of fact, let's start off with a thank you. Let's just tell God thank you this morning, all right? Here's Ernest Pugh with thank you so much right here on Praise 107.9. Hold on. We are programming right now. Woo! Good morning. Y'all doing all right? I am here, and I'm glad you're here as well. Hold on. Let's do that. And... I have so much more than programming to do today because the server is still not attached. So I have to run my music from. Oh, haha. I have to run it from my player. So there's a lot going on here behind the scenes today. But I am glad you are here hanging out with me, celebrating. Uh, this new day with new mercies. Hallelujah. Uh, like I said, you're tuned into Real Praise with Leisha behind the scenes. Where you see what happens behind the scenes. Sometimes it's calm. <laughs> Other times it's not. But at the end of the day, we make sure we are real, restored, elevated, affirmed, and liberated in some area of our lives. At least we're pursuing it. Amen? Amen. Well, I'm over here trying to make sure I share uh, this with the people who might not be on my radio page. Um, and if you aren't on my radio page yet, you probably should be. Just saying. Should, I mean, if you are now, you, you already are. But I'm saying, like, the other people that you know that haven't yet, just tell them go on, go on, on and get on the page. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I trust you all had an amazing Thanksgiving. Let me know. I want to know if you had a good Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. Had friends and family over, and it was awesome. Oh, hold on now. Put that on. Make sure it's still, uh, you know, <clears throat> that everything's still playing. Amen? Because <laughs> I am live on air right now. Hold on, y'all. I believe that is Miss Eleanor. Praise 107.9. Hey, 
Good morning, Miss Eleanor. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you. It was awesome. And that's what mine was too. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but but God, I was just I was excited because they got just before that young man got killed in got killed in Bromley, Georgia. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Just as we when it. Yes, ma'am. They went down there and shoot all the six thousand joined together. They shoot that courtroom up. They say we can't be we can't be in the courtroom, but we're gonna bring heaven down to earth. That's right. <laughs> you hit me up. You already know what I'm calling here. I got you, Miss Eleanor. You have a nice day now. You have a blessed keep, day as well. Keep the good work up. Thank you. All right. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Sorry, y'all. You know. So I want to make sure. Good morning, Miss Anita. I am uh, making sure I'm sharing all of these things to my pages, to my business pages. If you don't know nothing else about me, you know I'm going to be out here every Sunday uh, sharing this. And, um, all right, okay, and there I'm done with that. I think. <laughs> oh, let me turn that down. I do not want them to pause my video because I'm out here trying to uh, share Jesus and y'all uh, with the world. So, <laughs> you are so welcome, Miss Anita. Um, had a good time. We didn't get to play the games my parents wanted to do, which means we have to do it again anyway. So you're and you're welcome to game night whenever we do that. Um, my, my mother wanted to play Pictionary. My dad wanted to play Dominoes. We didn't do either of those, so we really got to get on it the next time. Uh, okay. Make sure I got time, but... <clears throat> Thank you all so much for hanging out with me this morning. Real praise with Alicia behind the scenes. It's been a little crazy this morning, but God is doing a great work, and I'm grateful to be part of it. Um, you know, Thanksgiving was amazing. Had a um, I'm sorry, y'all, I just got a text. I'm confused about it, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and put that down and answer that later because I don't even know what that was about. Uh, <laughs> man, it's been a wild morning, but God is good. God is great. I don't know why I felt like I was about to say, and we thank him for this plate. Is that a prayer? Anyway, behind the scenes, we talk about things that we don't talk about on air, but we also, uh, you know, just chit-chat and Talk about life. Uh, if you don't know, I am on air every Sunday right here at Praise 17.9 in Jacksonville, Florida from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And uh, we play great music. We've got the church check-in. We also take requests. So if you uh, want to shout out your church and your pastor or you want to request a song like Miss Eleanor did. She called just a few minutes ago and I got her song on right away because I knew where she was going. I knew she wanted to win this morning. We had to say thank you, then we had to win. Um, yeah, we'll go to win next time. Okay. And um, so if you want to request a song or put the church in, you can do that. You can put it in the comments right there, or you can call a little later on after I get off live. Um, excuse me. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I'm just a little flustered this morning. Just a lot going on, but, you know, God has given me the strength and the wherewithal to handle it, to know how it's supposed to go. So, you know, whoop, whoop, thank you, Jesus, and Duncan. <laughs> um, there was something I was going to talk about this morning, though.
Yeah, I'm not going to be transparent this morning. Transparently, I don't want to be transparent this morning because I'm struggling with something. Nope. You know what? I'm going to do it. Okay, Jesus. Because I wasn't going to do it. I was, te- I was telling y'all I wasn't going to do it. And then Jesus was like, um, why do you think I gave it to you? And I'm like, well, I don't know. It's for me to keep struggling, I guess. I don't know. In my mind. Listen. This has been uh, uh, a weird and rough week. Um... I always seem to be struggling. I'm tired of the struggle. But it's my own struggle. It's like one that I have caused. And so, um, for as confident and outgoing as I appear to be, y'all, I am so not. I'm not. That's just not my thing. And um, not the confidence. Like, I know I can do things, but... Sometimes I don't feel like it. And then other times, um, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure sometimes. I'm not sure about my ability, and I'm not sure about people. And so I just back back. That's that's my default. I'm back up. You know what I'm I'm going to let you do what you do. I'm going to be over here. Just over here. If you need me, I'll be over here. But... That's not really what God wants me to do, right? That's just my default. And I've been working through that the past past couple of weeks have been kind of like that. I just didn't want to fool with people. But all of my dealings have to deal with people. My business deals with people. Even being on air deals with people. I'm a chaplain, y'all. I got to deal with people face to face. And I'm like, hmm. Mm. Mm. I know, sound real crazy, but I've just been feeling that way. And so, the thing I know about when I struggle, it is at a point where God is about to do something ridiculous and amazing, right? Right? And sometimes I fall prey to the struggle versus focusing on the fact that he's working something out of me so he can do the ridiculous and amazing. And I know I've talked about this before. I'm sure I have. And I think I was, I was like, I felt like I was on the other side of it. And then it comes back and I'm like, oof. Yeah. I don't really want to go through this again, Jesus. I really don't. Just, just. Just, if you just take away the struggle. Like, that's that's my mindset, right? He's like, but you haven't overcome the thing that you're struggling. Oh, what? Well, well, can you take that away? Does anybody feel me out there? <laughs> anybody out there feel me, feel what I'm saying? Like, you're going through a thing. You might be struggling with the thing. You're just like, okay, well, Jesus, if you could take away that, that thorn in my flesh. <laughs> That would be so helpful. <laughs> I just I just want you to take it away, Jesus. It doesn't have to be that particular thorn. Just a thorn, a struggle. Like, I'm trying to grow. I really am. I'm trying to move up and move forward. Because that is what God has for me. Um... No struggle, no strength. You right, Charles. Good morning. Oh, wait. Hold on, y'all. Let me go live. Jen Lewis and Sounds of Blackness right there with Till I Found You. <laughs> Some great music this morning. Before that, we heard from the request lines, uh, Kurt Franklin and Lil Baby with We Win off the Space Jam 2 soundtrack. Just some great music this morning. We started off with a thank you. We talked about winning, and we know that uh, life was something else. <laughs> <laughs> until we found God. So uh, actually we're talking about that a little bit, uh, talking about how we find him and how he finds us and how we overcome even when we go through certain things and, and we find ourselves in that space. 
Um, you know, I'm struggling transparently. So if you want to join the conversation and uh, <laughs> let's talk about it, you know, sometimes we struggle. But, you know, I know that we overcome through the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So let's talk about our testimonies. You know what? Okay, I found it. Let's talk about it online. I'm on Facebook and Instagram at, uh, you can type in Real Praise or Real Praise with Leisha. Join the conversation. I would love to see you over there. Now, we've got some more great music coming up in just a bit right here on the Ultimate Gospel Experience. Praise 107.9. Okay. All right. Okay. (sighs) Okay, hold on. Did I put this up? No struggle, no strain. If you don't go through, you won't grow in that area. That is so correct. So correct. Good morning, Valerie. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in, hanging out with me. Listen. Okay. And I know that, right? I know that in more than just theory. I know that indeed. Um, But like, that really is a thing for me. And so I I really, I've been really, um, I've really been trying but I haven't really been doing. You know, my life has changed. It's been a great transition over the last few weeks, months. And so trying to navigate that and trying to navigate the space where I struggle, man, bye. (laughs) Now that I'm talking about it out loud, I get it, I understand. Like I was, I was doing, I was doing the most. I was, but, uh, yeah, hold on y'all. Nope. What, what is happening? Anyway, I am, I'm grateful y'all let me uh, talk these things through, but I, w- I want to talk about the the point where the aha, the aha moment, the, you know, you're, you're doing a thing, you're going through a thing, and you get the aha. Because I just had the aha, right? <laughs> Not that I didn't know there was an aha to this moment, but, you know, when you're in a thing, when you're pressing don't you get tired of the press and then you're like y'all can I just sit still for a minute can I just be like whoa whoa whoa." um that's all no let me know um but I just had my aha moment like I I know it But when life happens, when transition happens in your life, for those of you who don't know, um, my parents just moved to Jacksonville, and so we bought a house. Um, So they just moved in August, and then we bought a house in October, and we moved in, and then my my, uh, house is selling. And, you know, just trying to navigate all of that transition, uh, multi-generational living, which is what I grew up with, um, and I thought it would be great for my son to grow up with his grandparents because I grew up with my grandparents and, you know, having um, people, having family around and close and, you know, um, my parents are getting older. My son plays golf. His grandparents love golf. It would be a great thing for them to have uh, together in common. Just all of the, you know, benefits of it. But it, 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 it's transitional. <laughs> a lot of transition. <laughs> and so, um, you know, it's been a press. And then in the middle of all of that transition, having to 
struggle in a place that you <laughs> kind of always struggle in. But you know what? God is putting me in places that I'm uncomfortable with so that I get more comfortable with it because he's got greater for me. And in order for me to get that greater, I have to, I have to press in that place. I have to press into his presence, as Shana Wilson-Williams saying, but I also have to press past whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm going through, even health-wise. Like, I've had more challenges health-wise recently than a little bit. I've, um, you know, just trying to be a mom to my son and a daughter to my parents and be me and all that this entails. <laughs> But you know what? No struggle, no strength. God has given me, given me the strength to get through this place and to overcome this space. I just figured there was so much, so many more, uh, so many other things to overcome, right? There are harder things. <laughs> can I just like have like? Can you just give me this one, Jesus? Can you just give me this one? I I I press in other areas. Just just give me this one. And he said no. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful for you all for uh, pushing me because uh, I was confused for a minute. Just a little, just just, just not very long. I was just confused for a second, though, because I was putting, putting my focus on the wrong thing. I really was. So thank you for helping me regain perspective. Um. Cause God, God's amazing like that. He'll, he'll, he'll refocus us. He'll get us back in place, get us back in line. So we stop doing some stuff that we ain't supposed to be doing anyway. So we can really do the things that he's called us to. And I realized that he's, he's showing me, he's showing me more of him throughout this process. Because even with the transition, even with the health challenges, and even with my struggles, he's still been faithful. He's still letting me know uh, who I am in him. He's still letting me know that he is God over my situation that he is who I say he is even when I don't believe that he is that in that moment because yes I believe God is a healer but when my body is in pain and I'm doubled over and I don't know and the doctors don't know and they keep wanting to do procedures he still reminds me that he is a healer. And I know that because he's healed me before. But in the moment of my pain, in the moment of uncertainty, in the moment that I just don't get it, I know that God is still faithful. He is still, he is still a healer. He is still a deliverer. He is still a way maker. He is still everything that I need and more. And God is just amazing like that. He's amazing that he will remind us when we might, we might not remember it as clearly in certain moments. He is an amazing God, and he reminds us. He reminds me <laughs> when I'm struggling, and I don't want to be transparent, but I share life with you guys. I try to be as transparent as possible because I really do believe, y'all know I, I hang my hat on the fact that we overcome through the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, and a lot of times we talk about the 
We don't talk about the struggle as much as we talk about the getting through. The problem is, yes, we all want to see victory, but we don't know what the process looks like. We don't know what the process of becoming restored, elevated, affirmed. We see the liberation, but we don't know what those other steps look like. And so if we don't talk about it freely, if we don't talk about it openly, if we don't get to a point where it is okay to talk about it and okay to to kind of go through, but the go through is just to get to something that God has in store for us. Like I talk about it just because I struggle and other people struggle and I, I, I need answers at times because I might not be clear. Okay, <laughs> there are a lot of things that I know in my knower, like it's back here somewhere. But when you're actively in a thing, when you're actively like, when you're in it, like, hmm. and you just need a little reminder from somebody other than yourself. He showed up on Thursday, and we both seen him in action. Praise God for the process. Yes, Miss Anita, absolutely. And you know what? Thank you for reminding me of that, too. Because I, not that I forgot. It was like, it's in there. But, you know, it's like, okay, God. Okay, God. You keep showing up. Like, he really is, he really is faithful. And he really is uh, continuing to show me, to show us who he is, even in the middle of our struggle. And we're all struggling in some area. You're right, Charles. We are. We we all have not arrived. So we must continue to press. We must continue to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Jesus. So God, I thank you for the reminder that you are pushing me towards something greater. I thank you for the struggle because even though I don't want to go through it, I know you're working something in me and out of me so that I can move forward. God, I pray for everyone that is watching right now, wherever they might be struggling in, whatever space they're in. God, that you would just continue to remind them who you are, that you would continue to remind us that you, the creator of the universe, are concerned about us, that you, the creator of the universe, are also a healer and a way maker and a deliverer, that you, the creator of the universe, see about us. God, we thank you for seeing about us. And God, today, we will bless your name past the struggle. We will bless your name past the point of contention. We will bless your name past whatever person says, whatever they're going to say. We will bless your name past every obstacle, God. We will bless your name in the great times, in the good times, in the uh, times, in the bad times, God. We will bless your name. We will give you a praise today that will rival every other. God is going to give us a space today to praise him. (laughs) <laughs> first thing that came to my mind was in an undignified way but we take off anything that might be holding us that we take off anything that might hinder the praise today and we give him a praise like none other today on this 28th day of November my encouragement to you today <laughs> as you all have encouraged me is to give God a praise like none other, to give him a praise just even right now. Just start talking to him. Just start telling him who he is, how great he is, how amazing he is, how how incredible he is, how wonderful he is, the things that he has done for you, the things that... Uh, doors that he has opened for you, the ways that he has made, how he healed you, how he delivered you. Think about the spaces and places where he has se- you have seen him show up. 
Praise him in those places. Praise him in those spaces. Praise him for those things. Because I believe God is going to do something today. Hold on, y'all. I got I gotta go. I gotta fill out a call. That's right, Jonathan Nelson. I agree as well. He cannot fail. If you know the kind of God we serve, you know that he cannot fail. He is the creator of the universe. He cannot fail. We start off this music set with Jermaine Dolly and I'll go. Listen, I was just talking on um, social medias here and talking about kind of the process that I'm going through and how I'm trying to understand what God is doing in my life and through my life and what I have been led to encourage you today is to praise God with reckless abandon start off just telling him how good he is how amazing he is who he is to you thanking him for what he's done for you take off all of the everything that might be on you you know the busyness of life and the the struggles and the and the strains and just give him an undignified praise just don't worry about who's watching don't worry about who's around it's just you and your heavenly father tell him who he is to you tell him how you feel about him all of that give him a praise because you know what god has done so much for us god is uh, reminded us time and time again who he is this morning just being on the social media I have been reminded again for myself who he is I know the kind of God that I serve I know him uh, in word and in deed and in theory but sometimes I just you know <laughs> I'm just like oh, God can you help me in this area though can you do this right here and that's not what he's doing for me in that moment but what he's reminding me is that he is as the creator of the universe and my father, he is concerned about me and he is making ways and opening doors. I just have to do some work in those areas where I struggle. So, you know, God still sees about me in spite of me. And so I will praise him because he sees my faults. He sees my flaws. He still loves me and he's still taking care of me. So uh, my encouragement to you today is to give God an undignified praise. Amen. All right, y'all, let's uh, go ahead and uh, keep the music going with Tasha Cobbs Leonard, In Spite of Me, right here on Praise 107.9. All right, y'all, <clears throat> it's time for me to go, but like I said, my encouragement to you today, ooh, now I'm trying to, nope, that didn't work, okay. All right, there we go, Woo. Give God an undignified praise this morning. Let him know how you feel about him. Good morning, sister. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, give him a praise like none other. Give it like reckless abandon. I'm about to go ham in the studio. I encourage you to listen uh, the rest of the morning. I, I feel, you know, let me pull up undignified praise for real. Um, need that good Stephen Hurd undignified praise okay um <laughs> but give him praise today give him a real praise because you have been restored elevated affirmed and liberated and he's continued to do that in your life even now and i encourage you to use today to set the tone for your week speak god's promises over your life because they are yes and amen speak them out of your mouth so that you can hear them and everyone and everything around you can hear it as well Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. I will see you all again next week. I'm going to say goodbye to IG. Have an amazing Sunday. And FB, y'all have an amazing week as well. Oh, and you too. Y'all have an amazing week. <laughs>